What is up guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. We are in the fallout of what it was uh, one of WWE's darkest day with almost 50 talent being released slash fire or temporarily let go. So coming up as always uh, we got uh, all the latest uh, pro wrestling coverage, reasoning behind these massive releases, the full updated list, superstars uh, reaction to it, and amid everything Seth Rollins is upset by the negativity towards WWE. He says some good things but there were also some things said that, that led to massive backlash massive debut on nxt and cross a new name revealed following his appearance on nxt this week we're also talking the latest regarding vince mcmahon and much more so you guys already know hit that top rope and let's jump into it this week's wednesday is one that we are going to remember as one of the darkest days in wwe history and the day simply started with a five minute phone call from vince mcmahon Men. and there's a lot of specifics and reasonings to discuss for the mass of releases that we got in but first let's go ahead and talk about the updated list of names released by wwe so far for the main roster superstars and on-air talent wwe confirmed the following drake maverick kurt hawkins lou gallows and Kara anderson he slater eric young ec3 leo rush eric rowan zara logan referee mike kyota eric rowan epico and primo cologne maria and mike canellis no way jose and even more shocking sack rider and Ruth. There's also NXT wrestlers and Performance Center staff that are being let go. The ones that we know about so far is Diona Parasso, who was just on Monday Night Raw, Alexander Jaksic, MJ Jenkins, and Coach A. Steele. For producers slash employees, some of which has been laid off or put on the list of for love, meaning that they're going to be able to come back once things go back to normal, if WWE decides to bring them back. In that list is Kurt Angle, Aiden English, Lance Storm, James Helm, Sarah Stock, Scott Armstrong, Billy Kidman, Fit Finley, Pat Buck, Sean Devari, Mike Rotunda, Jerry Soto, and Andrea Lissenberger who is a writer and who last name I probably botch but the significance of her is that she's the one apparently responsible for the Mandy Rose and Otis storyline that we got in over the last six months which has been the most entertaining thing that WWE have given us in honestly quite a while as I mentioned at the beginning this is just the confirmed list of names so far there's a lot of speculations out there right now but one thing is certain and that is that WWE is set to release even more of their talent. That was almost a combination of 40 wrestlers slash employees released by WWE in a single day. But to make things worse, WrestleVotes is reporting that the expectations is that the number of people expected to be released will go into the hundreds when all is said and done. That will include people who work behind the scenes on the row and at company headquarters, which we will probably not even hear hear about as wwe won't make it public wwe has only publicly announced the wrestlers that have been released but several others in the company including agents coaches writers and announcers has been let go as we discuss wwe has of course told people that the door may be open for some wrestlers to return when the economy is stabilized but at this point anything could happen we might never see some of these superstar return to the wwe and they might just end up somewhere else house. Now let's tone it back a little bit because as I mentioned before the day started off with a phone call from Vince McMahon that only lasted 5 minutes according to PW Insider and of course Vince McMahon outlined a number of cost cutting measures because of everything that is going on worldwide. Some major points were discussed, releases and fall off across the board with Vince indicating that those decisions were extremely hard for him to make. They also stated that the company will be cutting back on pay for board members and executives and plans to move WWE headquarters out of Titan Tower to a new building in Stanford, Connecticut have been delayed and last but not least that cuts will be made to the talent roster and overall headcount of employees which we obviously already seen in effect over the last 24 hours. Shortly after WWE released an official statement on these measures confirming and detailing reasoning behind everything that is happening. The statement emphasized the following
following substantial financial resources both available cash and debt capacity which currently total approximately half a billion dollars but despite those funds wwe will be cutting costs for an estimated monthly savings of four million dollars improving their cash flow to 140 million and that these releases and temporary cuts will be effective immediately which then led to all of the releases and not to get a little obvious here and i'm sure that it gets more complicated than this you are paying goldberg two million dollar for a match which by this point you know that is the most horrifying thing that we could be watching on wwe television so you keep paying him all those millions every time that he come back for one single match instead of saving that money or securing it for at least more than half of the talent that you just released talent to which of course always show up to wwe live event always show up to television even when they're not used and talent who certainly needs the money more than him and i hate to put goldberg in this type of example but it is one that popped to my head right away when i saw that wwe is trying to save four million dollars a month when yes it might be a lot of money for us but for wwe this probably feels like nothing and instead of caring for their employees they're trying to save a few extra bucks to try to even out their earnings now obviously these decisions are being made or approved by vince mcmahon who not long ago we just learned that president donald trump wants to have the great vince mcmahon on board of sport industry leaders who will help decide when the economy will reopen and how it will reopen vince is literally on the table with president donald trump as one of the leaders that are set to bring back the country out of its current economical downfall that is going through because of everything that is going on so what is going to happen exactly because these 24 hours hasn't been the best example yet you could call the wwe a family but then when you make actions like this in the exact middle of everything that is happening right now feels like it's all complete bs Onto some other news, but sticking on the same topics, of course, a lot of superstars reacted to their release on social media. Even Drake Maverick posted a very emotional video, letting us know just how broken he was about the whole news, and that at least he was grateful that WWE was letting him compete in the current Cruiserweight Championship tournament that is happening. But with his release being announced, it's obvious he's gonna lose, and it's gonna be emotional watching him wrestle. Other superstars, of course, sent out their supports to those that were let go and then we get seth rollins you guys know how seth rollins is on social media there's always a positive and then there's always a seth rollins defending the wwe at the wrong time he took to instagram live to call on everyone to unify instead of being negative on social media after the news of the company releases which is great but he also called out fans who were upset at wwe for doing what they're doing right now again seth there there's always a time and a place, but right now is probably not the time to defend the WWE. This feels like last year when he called out John Moxley and called them out for leaving the WWE, bashing their process, and of course ending up on AEW. He went on and stated the following. But one thing I, I am seeing that is uh, a little upsetting to me is all the negativity and the hostility towards uh, WWE. This is a difficult day for everyone for all of us and i think if ever there was a moment uh for us to unify for us to kind of band together and to try to do the best we can to keep this business alive the best we know how this is that moment um and i think pointing fingers or saying you should have done this you should have done that is um I don't, it's, it's, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like the time or the place for it. I, I think this is... Now, taking the positive of what he said, it is important for, of course, everyone to just lift each other up right now and support their favorite performers or family and friends. He also asks for everyone to have empathy and compassion for everyone involved, including the WWE, but the big backlash that is coming towards Seth Rollins is for him trying to defend WWE making the decisions that they did at this specific time. Him stating one thing I am seeing that is 
a little upsetting to me is all the negativity and hostility towards WWE. This is a difficult day for everyone. He continued, I think pointing fingers or saying you should have done this or you should have done that. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like the time or the place for it. I think it's a day for compassion, which is true, as I mentioned before. But it's also not the time for WWE to be releasing so many superstars. I feel like halfway through the video, he actually realized that. Why do you think WWE is getting so much negativity? Maybe it's for that same reason that right now, it's not the place or the time for them to be doing what they're doing. Maybe it's just too much of a heated situation right now for any of us to be talking about it. But who knows? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. On to some other news coming out of WWE NXT this week. Cross finally made his debut and it looks like he's gonna start feuding with Tommaso Ciampa as it has been expected. At the end of this week's NXT episode, Ciampa said that his feud with Johnny Gargano has ended. The show closed with Cross blindsiding Ciampa and leaving leaving him laid out. It is clear that Cross will be getting a big push right off the bat as expected because otherwise he wouldn't be feuding with one of the main eventers on NXT. And based on new merchandise on WWE.com, it looks like Cross will be known in the WWE Universe as Karrion Cross, which I don't really mind. We already knew WWE was gonna be changing it just the way that their product is, so they had to drop his first name and just change it around. Good thing that they kept it similar to what it was anyways guys uh, that is what i got for you in this coverage of course there is a lot of news coming in and out so make sure that you guys have those notifications turned on and hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoy or found this informative uh, make sure to help or drop a like on the video i'll catch you on the next one so stay savage